Uh, let's start with the questions that we were going through yesterday. So we talk about this and how this ball moves uh, over this graph. So this graph here says it's about a uh, it it's a kinetic energy graph, and this is the height, all right. But it starts off at this point that is not zero. This means there is some kinetic energy at this point in time. But when it is at height is equals to zero, height is equals to zero. Can there be it means at the beginning, right? Height is equal to zero. Um, was there any kinetic energy there? At the beginning, before this person Joe threw his marker upwards, was there kinetic energy? There isn't. So I ask you to answer this in terms of kinetic energy. The question was on kinetic energy, so your answer should be on kinetic energy. Therefore, how would you answer this? Um, no is the answer. Right? No. This is not a kinetic energy graph. Now, who answered it in terms of gravitational potential energy? And then I put a tick, then I put a bracket, and then I put down here, uh, answer in terms of kinetic energy. Who has a tick and then a bracket below? Yeah. Uh, those answers are actually, to me, is acceptable. But I don't think those are the best answer. Uh, let's see if I ask you a question. Are you hungry? A straightforward answer is yes or no. But if I ask you, are you hungry? And you tell me, I have just eaten. So does it mean that you are full now because you have just eaten? Or you are still hungry despite the fact that you have just eaten? You are leaving it to me to guess. A better answer is just tell me directly, are you hungry? Yes, I'm hungry. Or no, I'm not. The question here asks you about this thing called kinetic energy. Is this broad line representing kinetic energy? If you say no, then your answer should be about why is it not a kinetic energy? Rather than answering it is gravitational potential energy instead. Okay? So I think that's the most straightforward answer. So no. Why then why is this not a kinetic energy uh, line? Okay, try answering that on the whiteboard now. I'll give you some clue here. Really, eh? Why is this not a kinetic energy uh, graph? Because you will expect a kinetic energy graph to look different. If you find the part to write in words, then you draw a graph like this. Ke and height, and you show me how should the kinetic energy graph look like. Then that tells me you know. And also, you can just show me a graph. Also, if you don't write in words, show me a, a graph. But you must draw the line in to tell me how should it look like. Can you also draw in the the graph and uh, split it in somewhere? All right. For those who are drawing this, huh? this, or you're drawing this, you're still saying at zero, at zero, there is still some kinetic energy. You're saying at zero, there's still some kinetic energy. Agree with your graph. Okay, agree with your graph. The second one, yes. Now, don't okay. okay. So, how would the answer be if your graph is correct already? So, answer is no. And then, explain. Uh, give a reason. No is a claim. This is your claim, and there's zero marks for claim. So how do you get some marks for this? You have to give your reason. Uh, a line showing changes in um, in a thing. You know what? It's long. It's sometimes right, either purposely or. Or honestly, so maybe you want to read through first before you copy anything down. A line showing changes in kinetic energy should start at zero at first because the ball was not moving at point X. Do you agree with this? 
a line showing changes in kinetic energy should start at zero at first, which means zero it should start at zero at first because the ball was not moving. Therefore, Ke is zero when at first. Who agrees with this answer? Then you may write this down. Okay. For your correction, page thirty-five. For those who are done, you turn to this page and you start reading the question. This one, okay? Now, um, firstly, don't use abbreviations like this. You have to spell it out, huh? You have to spell it out. So let's look at the heading. Now, the heading here says, now this is a, an activity. So let's use a solar calculator. Now your calculator is not uh, powered by solar. Yours is powered by batteries. Right, the one that is blue one is powered by battery. But for it to work right, eventually, it, whatever happens in between, it has to convert to kinetic uh, to electrical energy for that toy to work. For the in this case, for the calculator to work. So the calculator here it says, oh, the energy since it's solar, it comes from the sun, and the form of energy is solar energy. Here actually, I don't quite like this term. Because this one doesn't break down solar energy into light or heat. There are two forms of energy that come from the sun. There's light and there's heat. So here I'll prefer if you write down light energy. Because you're not using heat to power your solar calculator, no? If it's heat, you put it over the oven, put it inside the oven, or you put it on the stove and it works. But it doesn't work, right? It'll just melt. So you're using light energy. So here can you write down light energy? Thank you. Write down light energy and eventually converts to electrical energy. I agree with this student. Write electrical energy, but don't write EE, yeah? spell it out electrical energy. Next one hydroelectric power station. Now, by now, we should be very familiar. The source of energy is the running water. If you don't open the, the doors in the dam and the water just stay trapped behind the dam, then there is no electrical energy being generated in the generator. I see the water rush out, turn towards the turbine. And turbine is just like the thing behind me, which I like to stand here because I get a lot of wind. I feel not so hot when I stand here. Turbine is like this. Alright, it's just spin when water goes to it and then it will generate eventually electrical energy. This is what's happening in the running water and in the turbine. So this is correct. Next one, flying a kite, yeah, we need to have wind. Now, somebody wrote down wind energy. Yeah? Now, I understand that online, there are, there are places, there are videos that shows wind energy. Yesterday, a student was telling me, my tutor told me there is such a thing called wind energy. The energy of your tutor tell you that? Yeah, don't write that. It's like, if you go online and go to reputable universities, okay, around the world, and find out about life cycle of amphibians, like frogs, they can tell you life cycle is maybe four stages, five stages, six stages, even seven stages. Because after the, the after the frog hatches from the egg, it has tail at first. Stage one, then the tail they start to grow some uh, front legs. Stage two, hind legs. Stage three, tail start to shorten. Stage four, actually no more legs. Stage five. There could be many stages. Oh, no. And if you tell us, if, you're if you give me such a question about life cycle of a, of a frog, and you tell us it's five stages because this University of Georgia says that, a professor yes. says it, you will say something wrong. Because in test here, you are being tested on what you have been taught, what you have learned. And you learned in primary three in life cycles that frogs have a three stage life cycle, eight young adults. Okay, so you check your textbook. Does it show wind energy? It doesn't. Wind is actually just moving air. So wind is a clue to you to tell you it's kinetic energy. So don't write wind energy. You go back and advise your tutor. You may go around telling other students it's okay to write wind energy. Then they will suffer in, in, in school tests. Right? Don't tell them don't write, don't say that. So here, 
is kinetic energy of the wind. Okay, can okay, someone give me the meaning of wind again? Wind, yes. Yeah, if I now moving air here, please. Moving air. The idea is so whenever you see moving air, you know that there's kinetic energy involved. Come for the near right now. Moving air. And the kite, nobody see a kite stage staying stationary in the air, right? It's always moving about. Either you're pulling on the strings. Has anyone flew a kite before? Here, kinetic energy. So far, who got the first three correct? And the last one wrong. Yeah, the last one, a lot of people down cars. Huh? Okay, driving, uh, moving car. That one, I have a small problem. What's the problem? Who has cars here? Yeah, the thing is, it's not totally wrong, you know. The thing is, let's look. Calculator works when you have electric energy. Hydroelectric power station works when it generates electricity. A kite has kinetic energy. So you're telling me a car here, the purpose of it to make it move is heat and light energy. But know what, when you turn the ignition, when your parents turn the ignition in the car, yeah, lights come up. There's sound also from the engine. Maybe your parents turn on the radio, or, or play the CD, or turn on the TV. They come up with a TV in the car. But all those things do not make the car move. What makes the car move is the combustion engine, they will turn the axle, make the wheels turn. That makes the car move. So you tell me that here and light is true, but it doesn't make the car move. In this case, I agree, you burn fossil fuels like charcoal, barbecue, right? Who likes the barbecue? I like to barbecue. Yes. Yeah. So burn fossil fuels like candle also, we have here and light. Burn fossil fuels like wood, we have here and light. This one makes perfect sense to me. Okay, next one. Alright, now here they say how we can burn cow, uh, corn plants or cow dung. And it's true, uh, uh, in like the, the safari in African countries, they have no easy access to forests. There isn't like forest in the safari, you know, in African plains. It's just lots and lots of sand, soil. And a tree here and a tree there. So they don't have like trees to burn for fuel. Like in Asian countries, they'll be in a tropical area. So what they do is they use animal dung, dry under the sun, and that can be used as fuel to burn. And then the heat generator is for cooking. Now, our night is for heat and light. How can energy from plants and animals be traced back to the sun? We have done this before, we learned it before, like page 11, they will tell you about this whole book. But here, let's try to answer it completely. There are a few parts here that you must address. One is corn. The other one is cow. And it's say generally speaking, plants and animals. How can the energy in plants and animals be traded for the sun? Can you all draw a simple... Can you someone suggest to me for plants? Alright, how is it going to trade it to the sun? So can you draw a simple diagram here with sun, with plants, with animals, and tell me the picture on your whiteboard. The picture on your whiteboard. How is all this energy from the sun passed to the plants, passed to the animals, passed to other animals that don't like to eat plants? Like some of you here are carnivores so that don't eat plants, right? They only eat chicken or beef or lamb or fish. Just avoid plants, some of you, right? So, how do you get energy from the sun? Either directly or indirectly. Can you show me a picture? Simple one. There are a few words. I can tell you all the words that you need and a picture of a sun. Okay, draw on your whiteboard and show me how is energy passed from the sun to the plants to animals. Alright, so here, now to answer that in words. Now in words, how do you represent it in words? So, plants get. Is one of the blanks for me? How do you talk about how plants get the energy? Who would you want to try the first part? Let me choose somebody. I'll give you five seconds to think of an answer. I want to know how to train energy from the plants to the sun. I'll give you five seconds to think of an answer. Okay, I'll choose someone, alright? How do plants get the energy from the sun? Alright, today is the 24th. Who's number 24? Alright, Hassan. Can you bring the bags for me? 
Transcapia and the G from the sun. Do you see anything else? Through photosynthesis. Excellent. Okay. Now, can someone add in one more word to make his answer even more perfect than perfect? Uh, yes? Uh, I know, get, I know. Yeah, energy from the sun. Through. I know, I know. Where do you get light energy in the sun? So let's hear her first. Let's hear her. Please hear her. Plants get light energy from the sun, is it? Oh, okay, then the angle is different. Um, okay, I can agree with that because to say that plants get light energy from the sun through this. This is fine also. Is there one word I can add here? A D word. Directly. Yeah, okay, directly. Yeah. Okay, now this answer, part of it. But how to answer the other part about animals? How do you answer the animals part? The animals. How do animals get it? How do you trace it back to the sun? Clue, uh, clue, uh, this word is useful, okay? This word is useful to answer this second part. Ten seconds to think now. How do I answer with animals? Okay. What's going to trace the energy from the animal back to the sun? Energy from animals trace back to the sun. So how do you trace back to the sun? This answer must have sun inside somehow with animals. Five, six, seven. Why you say something like that? Okay. Uh, it's March now, right? So number three. What's number three? Oh, okay. Animals get their energy indirectly from the sun. Animals get their energy indirectly from the sun. Can someone help her to also make it even more perfect? It's very cool with it. By what? How do they do it? Remember me and my... Me and my brunch. I'm an animal, right? Remember, I was standing near the window. Okay, I'm big plant. How about this one? How do we do it? Okay, twenty-four plus three. Who's number twenty-seven? Who's twenty-seven? Twenty-seven. Is Erica not around? Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Let's see. Ah, I mean, I have to try first, and then I'll go to By what? How do you trace them back to the sun? And you must get the energy directly from the sun. How? Rachel, I'm bringing one child. How? 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 By what? By Okay. So a lion gets the energy indirect from the sun by the plants. Does it? Does it? Does it make sense to you? To replace animals with lion, with a carnivore, with a meat eater. Okay, I promise you. Now, fill in the blanks. No, so you use this first part and carry on. By yeah, by food made by plants. But how? How do animals who don't eat plants oh, because the eat this? Okay, yes. Alright, uh, anyone else you want to try to get other shot? By eating what? Well, if I'm a lion, if I'm a. 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 If 
either plants or other animals. This is actually what is what you drew one on your on your Why you look a line of Okay, so let's finish up with this one. Yeah, you find a line of the And one more thing to go through. Now we leave the next page for tomorrow. I'm gonna go through um today's work with you so you can do some homework as well. So we'll do the last page of the corrections tomorrow. This is for our uh, page 36. You still keep your book open. Now get your uh, PSLE uh, worksheet ready, the second one that I gave out this morning. Make sure your name has been written on it and your index number. Oh my god, now, in today's lesson, I'm going to cover three questions with you with the remaining time that we have. We're going to discuss some questions for on, on energy conversion and these are all PSLE questions. The idea is really to give you confidence that whatever you know now is enough to do well if you see this question. So when PSLE really comes and you see energy conversion question, you will be jumping for joy inside your heart because you know this is something that you know. Right? So you'll be familiar with looking at the different ways. Now we will only be discussing 5, 7 and 9 in class. Let's go to question 5 now. I'll read the question to you. The diagram below shows a round glass bowl. A metal ball was held at P. Help means there was somebody with fingers holding it at P. Just like you were holding the wooden ball, styrofoam ball, metal ball, plastic ball, when you were dropping them in the science lab into this container of flour. Now, so when this person released it, this ball rolls down. So far, makes perfect sense, right? You might not have played this before, but I'm sure you can imagine how a ball can roll down. Has anyone really played marbles before? Marbles? Yeah, it's not so common these days that when I was young, every child, boy or girl played marbles. Alright, and we have games around it. But these days, I don't really see children playing marbles anymore. Okay? So which of the following statements you find it to be, is to be the likely part of the ball after it was released? Now to understand this, you must know a few things. So at P, what is the form of energy that is at P? Can you write it down the whiteboard now? What form of energy is at P before he release it? You can write in short form. You have to write in the full. What is the form of energy at P before this person release his fingers? What is the form of energy at uh, the marble has or the ball has, the metal ball has at P before it was released? I thank those who write big big, huh? sorry, pardon my singlish, who wrote it in huge letters so I can see. I uh, don't write microscopic one. Uh, can you please write down GPE here? Can you write it down there, please? Well, usually I'll use the whiteboard and then I'll write on the whiteboard, but. Uh, it become very reflective in the video, so if I do that, your friends find hard to see. Yeah. So here, P, you just write down that part there as GPE is that. Okay? Now, yesterday, remember, I was showing you this skater? Yeah. Alright? People that can dance. They can dance and in the bottom, right? <laughs> so if this, this is the skater, it goes down. This is the point at the bottom here. Then this is the point Q. Then it can go up to R. It can go up all the way here to X. Now, very important is it can you use the ruler now and draw a height here. Just underneath the metal ball. Can you use the ruler now and draw a dotted line that starts just underneath the metal ball. And the line must be parallel to the table. Can you just do this now? You don't have to do this in the exams. Doing it now is just to understand something. I repeat again. Huh? This line should be parallel to the table. This table line. And if the line starts just underneath the metal ball. Show me already signal when you are done drawing that straight line. 
trending too long, I have a ruler and a pen, just one line. But very clearly, which of these positions is above this line? S. Close? S. S, right? Now, why can't the answer be S? I'm telling you, uh, for those who don't quite remember this, remember the example I did with the swinging, I, uh, I didn't look for everybody to see, uh, it was doing remedial. I hung a water bottle here and I swung it. Okay, but did I show the rest? Something? No, right? Yeah. Uh, let me try and find a video to show next time, okay? But that's the idea. And then with the security, I did it downstairs. I used a medicine ball. No medicine ball? Really heavy, okay? And I put it in front of my face and let go. If this thing happens, and this is a, pen, this is a pendulum, huh? If this happens, it can go above. Wow, that's dangerous, okay? So, why can't it be X? Yes, Trisha? Um, because the gravitational energy from the ball that was at P got converted to kinetic energy. So it's stopped before it Yeah, so kinetic energy went all the way up here. So that answer that you give is not enough to, let's say, convince a person like me who is having some doubt. Why cannot, no? Why cannot? Why cannot? Why is it only a few hands up only? Why is it only Anusha's, Anya's, some more? Okay, Don, why can't it be S? But why is it too high up wrong? You know, when you play a swing, I can push, you can go higher. What's wrong? Because it started lower. It started off lower. So, can you write down total at first? Can we give it a number? The total energy at first. What number can we give it? Just a random number will do. Three. 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 Okay, that's it. It's equal to three. Now, I don't have units for me. Yeah, just three units of energy. But in the end, it went up to be more than three. Yeah. It's like you come to school with three dollars in your wallet you and you go home attention. with ten dollars. Wow, I mean, if you have And that happens if your wallet is a Doraemon kind of wallet that can keep putting money out. Wow. Or you go around asking people for money, which you shouldn't. I wish right? It shouldn't. The more you convert your money into nuggets, into noodles, the more you convert your money into drinks, into stationery, the less money you have. So I can go to the bookshop and spend all my money on a pen, on a notebook, I can do my drawing, on a drawing board so my art teacher can ask me to use it. But the combined value should be still equal to what I have to begin with. The combined value shouldn't be more. So S is wrong, okay? Now I rule out S already. Now your turn. Can you try doing it now and give me your answer on your whiteboard? I just want one number in the whiteboard. I'll read you a question and tell me your answer on your whiteboard. Okay, is it one, two, three, or four? Meanwhile, I'm going to write down some annotation on the board. If you are done with your answering, make sure you have this word on your worksheet. As well as here, you write this down. Uh, ending cannot be more than the start. Okay? Let me see your answer. I see. Can you use your handbook? Very good. Handbook has something printed on it. Maybe some numbers printed on it. Okay. So a lot of you chose a number. So far, I have one person who chose three. Uh, all the rest chose two. Uh. Let's see why is three. Because those who chose three means the ball. Those who chose three say the ball can go to S. Alright. So just now my lesson was to rule out S as an answer. So option 3, option 4 are out. So the rest of you now, the key thing is are you correct? You see it roll to R and then roll back. You are right. Okay. Answer is 2. But why? Uh, if I give you one more choice, can you draw one more circle in? Q, R, S. Can you draw a circle here and write down T. This circle is just above this line. Just like this. 
same height, ah, same height, okay? Draw one more, okay? Can you draw one more? Draw a circle here, T. This T is the same height as this ball at first. So Mr. Law already said you cannot go to S because the ending, the ball at the end, can I have more GPE at the start? There's some GPE here at first. It cannot be more than what you need to start. Right now, what can it be this? Same amount. Same amount. Alright, can I, I ask you to write your answer on the whiteboard? Why can't it be T? Same amount. Mr. Long just said what? Well, total value of all is stationary must be equal to the amount at the start. Why can't it be at the, at the same at the start? Same. I'll give you some time to discuss with somebody beside you if you need to discuss. 20 seconds for discussion. I'm already telling you T is wrong. But why is T wrong? agrees with me that T is wrong. But why is T wrong? Same one. I'm not having more now. T is only 3 units of energy, 3 units of GPE. Alright? Okay, let me read out some answers huh, just to see. So, can I see some of your answers? Can you just read out? Uh, GPE converted to KE. So, GPE decreased, it cannot be the same amount. Remember, you said the. Uh, I think then you remember, remember. Let's take a look at the. Right, this guy, right? So I saw one answer just now. The answer said, oh GPE convert to KE. So therefore it cannot be there cannot be any more uh can't be the same amount of GPE anymore. But why if somebody disagree and say, but the KE can convert back to GPE? So at uh, this case here, look at the bar graph. At first here, right at the start. See here? The GPE here is a total amount. And then it converts to KE. And K converts back to GPE. And it swings up and down, swings up and down. So, why can't I say it can convert back equal? I'm not saying more, it's equal, same as the total. Alright? Okay, I see an answer, somebody mentioned that it's wind resistance. So, I'm about wind resistance, that's about forces, that's true. Wind resistance is when we are running, then there's wind that kind of slow you down. Uh, but how do you answer it about energy? Because answer wind resistance doesn't talk about energy. Then this answer says, uh, small, small words, GP the ball was converted to, oh, not just KE, also to sound and heat. So we are saying that the GPE is not just to this. It is GPE convert to, yes, KE, but also some sound as the ball rolls down the bowl. Also some heat energy. So by the time it got up, at most it can go to R because some of the energy was converted to these two. So here is like your three units at first. Let two units of KE to convert to GPE. But here we have half of it went to sound, half of it went to K H uh, energy. Yeah, I thought I showed you today, right, John? Yeah. Right. Here you should be able to see how the energy yeah, become less and less. Okay, now this is the height. Okay, this is the height. Lower and lower. Lower and then you start to dance later, okay? Alright. That's the key. Okay. That's a dance for a while. Left, right, left, right. Huh? How did she get down? Okay. She's doing renovation. Okay, now, great. You got that question now. It wasn't so hard, right? Here is that question. Now, next one, question seven. Oh my god, why is the Can you write down these words at these two points? This is the maximum height 
is here, height is equal to zero. Alright, can you write these two things down? I'll give you a while to read the question and to get an answer. Okay? You may discuss if you need to. I'll give you 30 seconds to read this question and to come up with one answer which you will write on your whiteboard. Your 30 seconds starts now. So I have pupils choosing 3 and 4. Alright? Now let's take a look at them one at a time. I find this question not easy to do because there are so many graphs to read and in each graph there are two different lines. Let's try to understand this. I'll give you two tips now. When you read graphs, you got to read the vertical axis and the horizontal one. The vertical one here tells you it's all about energy. The horizontal one is all about height. Now, if I do this, I will read them separately. I will try to read both lines at the same time. I'll focus on just one, either potential energy or kinetic energy. Let's start with the option one. I start with the potential energy line. Do you think that the potential energy is zero when the height is zero? Who thinks that potential energy is equal to zero when height is zero? Uh, raise your hand if you think so. Okay. Who thinks that uh, potential energy is not zero when height is zero? Okay, you all can see on the fence, please all going to make a decision, huh? So, I must raise hand for one or the other question. Let me try one more time. Girls, the more I can go through with you, the less work you have to do at home, okay? I see another about six minutes left. Let's try again. Uh, who agrees with this statement? Is P equal to zero when height is equal to zero? Who agrees with this statement? Okay, so most of you, I didn't see Don's hand yet. Alright, so I agree with you too. Height zero means you cannot drop any further. That's the lowest. And GP is affected by height. So I agree with this. Okay, so this line so far here seems to make sense. This part. Next part. Now I look at KE. Is the KE equal to zero when height is the maximum? Means it go up the highest. Then KE is zero. Who agrees with this? When the height is maximum, K is equal to zero. Who thinks that there is still kinetic energy when height is at the maximum? Okay, then those I ask you are those who raise their hand. They're saying when you go to the highest, it's not going to stop. When it stops for just a split second before it swings down again. Here is moving, here moving, here moving, here moving, here moving, but here it should stop, right? For just a while before it starts to swing backwards again. Move, 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 slow down, stop. Alright, so this part should be zero. Alright, when it's at the maximum height, it should be at zero. So it seems to be okay. This part seems okay. Any questions so far? Then does it, does it mean that one is the answer? No. Now let's take a look at the rest of the graph here. Now potential energy here. It says that the height here... Because so far, this line we discussed, but if you say it's not correct, because nobody chose one, what? then how can you tell me this line is and this and this line? Where's the mistake? You all agree with me when I say P line is correct and the K line is correct? What's wrong with them? Because if I give you this question for the, the homework that you did, right? How do you reject option 1? How will you reject option 1? How will you reject option 1? Ah. That's why I must edit away all this stuff in the video so you're to see all this slow motion thing. Yeah. Now, therefore, who doesn't know how to reject this answer? Okay, look at the height. Huh? So you are saying that this point is very high. 
is maximum, right? But this is also saying along this journey from zero to the highest point, from zero to the highest point, there is only PE. See? Here, there's only PE. There's no KE there. Is there KE here? Is there KE when the height is increasing, girls? Yes. It's moving what? It's moving. So there is KE happening here. So can you write this down? This, this, this is a mistake. Okay, yes. And this part here, eh? Only KE is here. No PE. So and when it's moving, there's height is not increasing. But height is increasing and decreasing as, as it is swinging. So that's why one is wrong. Now who is still a bit confused? Okay, I'm out of time. Huh? I will still rush through to finish the uh, remaining parts, which is this next one. Huh? The second option now. Is K equals to now you know what's wrong with these two lines now? Yes? There's only K. Yeah, there's only K here, no P E. There's only P here, no K E. One and two is wrong because of this. Now it's just it's three or four. Now here. Those who chose four, raise your hand. Who chose four can I pay a bit more attention, huh? Here they say that. Is the KE maximum when height is zero? When height is zero means at the bottom here. Is the KE at the maximum? Remember my pendulum example when I swung the pendulum ball and it hit the beaker right at the bottom? Was it the loudest sound it made compared to when it hit it at the top? Bottom it hit the my whole beaker flew away. Uh. It just didn't break me. Do remember? Oh, I I'm running a bit out of time. Huh? So here my answer is yes, it is not. This case is true. And the other one is KE equals to zero when height is maximum. Girls, can you answer me? Yes. When height is maximum, does this person stop swinging for a while? Yeah. Just for a split second, stop swinging before it swings back. So this is true. And when it stops swinging, that's when the, best, the P is the highest one. It's still the highest point, that's why it stops swinging. It's an X shape right here. That's why 3 is correct. And this is the aligned to tell you. When P is maximum, K is the minimum. It's always opposite. Man. So 4 is wrong. Huh? And 4 is wrong because here, they are saying that when P is the at the start here at 0, at 0 centimeter, you see? At 0 cm, you don't choose 4. Look up. At 0 cm, maximum PE. Cannot be, right? That's the lowest one. That's why the graph part read wrongly. Okay? Now, I will not be able to go through. This one is just to tell you that I'm not giving an answer. This question is because we can mix concepts together. Matter as well as energy together. So homework is this. Skip question one and two girls. Don't do one and two first. You will just do the rest. So the homework is everything else in this worksheet except for question one and two. Stay right there your homework now. In your handbook.